This is Jeremy Bird. He's been coming since about four months. How long? Six months? Uh, no, a couple months. A couple months, yeah. We'll try to do our best for you. And, but it's exciting because not only, I mean, seeing his life and his career is the end of that, but just to see the desire in his heart to put Christ first and all that he's doing. And in, the, in, in, in the family that he's beginning to develop mm -hmm. with him and Catherine and the direction that they're wanting to go with their mm -hmm. life and uh, their, their upcoming marriage here in another month or two. And it's just blessing uh, on blessing to see what's happening. I'm going to Jerry to share uh, this morning uh, what's God doing. Um, I recently learned, you know, that baptism is symbolistic, signifying the former lifestyle before I accepted Christ in my life and I walked away. It doesn't make a relationship with our God, but it is an act of outward indication of what has occurred inside of me, which is Christ's forgiveness and deliverance of who I was. Amen. Before I began to seek Christ, for He was always seeking me, I was nothing short of selfish in my actions. I began smoking cigarettes at 14, that's where it all began. Being only 14, it bred secrecy and deception, and I loved the excitement of thinking I was more clever than the rest. But that quickly graduated to marijuana. Marijuana became prescription pills, so on and so forth. Um, and, you know, lying became a way of life for me. To feed my addiction, I lied, cheated, and stole, not only from strangers and friends, but the rest, worst of all, my family. I didn't care about them. My addiction was so severe that I remember nights of getting sick and promising God that if he just let me make it through the night, I'd stop. That only meant that I was able to do more the next day. I do remember begging God to help me quit and the night before, even if it meant prison. God quickly answered that prayer. I received my first felony charge at 16, possession of marijuana, at 18, first degree assault. Somehow, I skated, but I was guilty, but I didn't stop. In the midst of my meth binge, I was on the run from police, wanted for 10 felonies. Um, I don't need this. What happened was, uh, you know, I ended up getting seven years in prison, served two years of that, and uh, while I was in prison, I accepted Christ because Amen. His gentle whisper just didn't stop. Um, now I can't tell you how amazing the blessings are that I have. I have Catherine and Francis, who I love, marrying to in December. Um, her parents are just off the chain, incredible. Uh, body of Christ that I'm with now, uh, you know, I've only been here a couple months, but. I really feel like family with you guys, and uh, you know, especially Jeremy Messer. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, but you know, Christ is the provider. Um, he's the forgiver, and uh, I'm a walking testimony of the blessings of you know and what God can do for you when you accept Him as your personal Savior. Amen.